everyone, I'm Claire and this is my vlog Love's Red Sews. So welcome back if you are an existing subscriber and welcome if you are new. So today I am recording this on Saturday the 7th of September. How are we in September already? This year has absolutely flown by. Um, this um, vlog will be uploaded on Sunday the 8th of September. So this is my general weekly uh, sewing catch up and vlog which I always release on a Sunday and today I am just going to be talking about kind of general stuff this week what I've been up to and um, what my sort of plans are for this coming week and um, what I'm sewing this weekend um, and then um, I've got a couple of fabrics to share with you so I hope that's okay um, I did a different style of vlog last week which was my top five dress patterns and it was really well received actually um, I wasn't sure um, how that one would go down I know other vloggers have done similar sort of things before but um, I really enjoyed making that one and I think I'm going to do some more of those so I have got plans to do a few more um, I think sort of my, like my top five uh, top patterns my top five jersey patterns um, you know things like that so um, I probably won't do them um, each week after each other but I'll kind of slot them in maybe in between some of my usual sort of weekly vlogs so um, I hope that's okay with you all. So what have I been sewing this week? Um, well I've mainly been concentrating on my Busy Bee Sewing Challenge for Challenge 3 so um, I won't be able to share that one with you today because the reveal of that one is at the end of September um, but I've pretty much finished my garment um, and that is because I am away for a week in September so um, next weekend I'm going away for a week just in the UK um, uh, to what we're off to Wales actually so um, yeah we've got a week off work and a week away so next weekend on that note um, I won't be sharing a vlog um, because I'll be traveling on the Saturday and then obviously away so um, there won't be a vlog from me next week um, but yeah because because of that um, I've been concentrating on my busy bee sewing challenge um, because when we get back I'll really only have a few days before the reveal so um, I kind of wanted to get sort of a head start on it really and get that finished so that I didn't have the stress of having to try and do it and get it all rushed and recorded and everything when I got back so that's been my sort of main priority and I've also been working on um, which I mentioned in last week's vlog um, a secret project for a birthday present I'm unable to share that at the moment but um, I will be able to share that with you soon so you'll see what I've been making for that um, but some of the other things I've been um, doing this week uh, is I have actually cut out a few projects so as we're going away next week I know it's only in the UK and at the moment the weather is very it's very grey here today very wet and I'm not sure what kind of weather we're going to get um, while we're away but um, I've cut as you can see in the background here I've cut um, an Avenir jumpsuit out this week and I have already made a start on it so I, I quite like to take this away with me if I can so I'm just going to grab it quickly to show you um, so this is a um, cotton uh, I think it's like a viscose poplin actually so as you can see it's got quite a nice sort of drape it's um, com completely opaque um, and I'm actually really excited by this one. I know it's a little bit different to my usual kind of bright colours, um, but I think this is going to be quite a staple in my wardrobe. I think it will go with lots of things. It will be easy to kind of pair with stuff. And I'm thinking sort of in the uh, going into autumn, winter months, um, I, even though I'm doing it with the shorter sleeves, um, I can kind of layer it up with a long sleeve T-shirt underneath. Um, or a nice sort of cosy cardigan um, and you can kind of dress dress it up or down really I think so that is kind of what I'm making at the moment and I'm hoping that I will get that finished this week um, possibly even this weekend ready to take away um, with us uh, next week and um, well, I should probably share what I'm wearing today actually so um, uh, this will be no surprise, but I'm wearing a Naya t-shirt. I don't think I've actually shared this one on my Instagram page. Um, and I think it's probably because 
Um, I've made so many Naya t-shirts that I think it will probably start getting a little bit boring if I shared every single one of them on um, on my socials. So um, this one um, is one of my more recent ones and it's in this lovely kind of cotton jersey um, and it's got kind of like this jungly sort of print. I really like the colours of this um, and I've just paired it with a pair of uh, ready to wear jeans today so keeping it quite casual um, and this fabric I purchased from Rachel from Rach Stitched Up and this was in her D-stash so it was just um, I think it might have been a one one meter rem uh, not a remnant but a, a one meter piece or one and a half meter piece so it was perfect amount to get a Naya t-shirt out and on that sort of note and conversation, I have also cut out some more Naya t-shirts this week. So um, not only have I cut out the Avenir jumpsuit and made a start on that, but I've cut out six Naya t-shirts. Now, I know that's quite excessive um, and I already have quite a lot. Um, so I've got, I mean, I, I do wear quite a lot of t-shirts. I'm sort of quite a t-shirt jeans kind of girl really. Um, so you know on on a casual sort of day which is to be honest is most days these days um i do often sort of reach for a t-shirt and a pair of jeans and i just love the naya and the way it sits on me it's just a nice casual t-shirt and the sizing is really nice and i've got I've obviously got quite a few variations already i think i may have around 10 possibly so far and obviously these <laughs> i've cut out so um, I'll just quickly share with you what I've cut out. So these three here um, cut out, these are, I actually bought a um, sort of a colour bundle from Lamazi Fabrics um, and it was basically just a one metre piece of um, cotton jersey in these three colours and um, you've got like this rust kind of colour, this teal and then um, this nice green and basically I just wanted to do some plain ones to go with sort of some of the bottoms and um, you know more kind of uh, patterned fabrics and stuff so I really like the colours of those um, I did kind of actually buy these specifically um, for other fabrics um, that I'd bought to kind of go with them um, uh, which I haven't made up yet but I thought do you know what while I'm cutting out a couple of um, Naya t-shirts, I might as well cut these ones out as well. So that's what I did with that. Um, this fabric here um, was actually a remnant piece. And if I just bring it a little bit closer, you'll see it's kind of like a rib. Um, and I bought this, I've had this kind of quite a while now. I think I've had this in my stash. Um, I don't actually know how long, but I think I got this from, might have been Hey Say Sister. And I originally bought it and made a, um, like a little vest top which I wear quite a lot in the summer um, but obviously coming into sort of autumn and stuff I can't wear that quite as much and I realised this week that I had um, a remnant piece of this still left in my stash and it was just big enough to cut a Naya t-shirt out of so I've pretty much used up all of this now I think there's just a tiny bit left but yeah I thought I might as well kind of cut a little Naya out of that it is a little bit kind of more floral than I would go for but I really like the colours in this and I think um, it will go and it's quite autumnal looking so I think it will go with jeans and some like a nice little cardi and stuff um, so that is that one and then um, I cut this nice red one out this is a nice lightweight like modal um, French terry and you can just see the hopefully see the texture there on the back um, I've actually got quite a, a bit of this and I bought it originally with a view to kind of almost making some nice um, sort of lounge wear sort of trousers maybe and a top and then when I made my Pietra shorts this week I realised I don't really have many tops to go with the Pietra shorts so um, the colours in that if you saw my previous vlog um, it's a tomato um, print denim and it's kind of like a of um, slightly off-white background and obviously the red tomatoes and there's a little bit of blue in there so I did I have got a blue t-shirt already which I paired with the shorts um, and 
um, that will be in the photos that I shared on Instagram but I don't really have a red um, t-shirt to go with it so that's why I cut this one out and actually this was my initial plan to cut out a red Naya t-shirt to go with the shorts because um, I mean I don't know if I'm, we're going to get the weather but I wanted just to take those shorts with me when we go away just in case it is warm enough to wear them so I originally cut out the red Naya tee to go with that and then while I was there I thought I'd cut these other ones out as well so that was my kind of reasoning for cutting so many Naya tees and then um, the other one I cut out was this one which is kind of another red one with this kind of lighter blue in and again I'm thinking that this might be another one to go with those Pietra shorts that I made so those two were kind of like to go with that really and the other ones are just kind of bonus ones so I'm hoping um, I'm, the Maya is really quick to sew up so I'm hoping that I will be able to get those kind of whizzed up um, if not this weekend then this week over the course of the week um, I do quite often, I will do a little bit of sewing in the week when I finish work. Um, sometimes my husband works a little bit later than I do. So before we sort of have dinner or before we go off to the gym, I might do sort of half an hour to an hour of sewing um, sort of during the week as well. So I find sometimes just doing, you know, sort of half an hour here and there, um, garments tend to kind of whiz up really quickly actually it's surprising how much you can get done in a short space of time so um and then uh yeah I think that that's pretty much it um plans for this week so um I, I would like to try and take as much um kind of me made stuff with me on holiday um so <laughs> that's why I'm kind of like um just you know trying to get these bits little bits done um i'm not sure if i'm going to get all of these t-shirts done this week but um i think i'll try and prioritize the red ones to go with those shorts and then see what else i can get sewn up uh, while i'm there so um and then i just have a couple of fabrics to share with you um which i thought you might be interested to see now i'm trying not to buy too many fabrics at the moment um i did have a little bit of a de-stash recently so thank you to everybody that has purchased from my de-stash um i think there's only a couple of fabrics left but majority of them have all sold um and the money that i've made from that i'm kind of putting putting by basically because i'm off to the knitting and stitching show in october and um i've kind of put a little bit of that money aside um for that trip so um i'm trying not to buy too much this month so that i can buy or you know if i see anything um at that show uh yeah so just have a little bit of money uh, to take with me there so um but i have purchased a couple of bits recently mainly kind of sale stuff and then um a couple of other bits but one the first one that I want to show you is this so this is a um, this is actually a Ponte Roma um, fabric and I have had my eye on this fabric for quite a long time um, but I've not really seen it in that many places so I think it's called fireworks um, it's a I think yeah, I think it's called Firework or Fireworks, something like that. But I'll just bring it a little bit closer so you can see those colours. So obviously it's in a dark background, but it's got all those lovely sort of reds and um, kind of purples and pinks and stuff. Nice bright colours that I love. Um, so I actually purchased this from um, Christine, who is the Gemini Stitcher. And she put this up on her D-Stash page and I happened to come across it relatively quickly after she put this up um, so I immediately um, contacted her and asked her if I could purchase it and thankfully I was lucky enough to, um, so to, to buy this one so I was really pleased because um, it's kind of been in my wish list for quite a while um, but I just haven't found I think Abacan, Abacan did it um, and I just hadn't purchased it and there wasn't really anywhere else I'd seen it um, so I was really pleased when she put that up on her D-stash. So um, this is actually two and a half metres and I am slightly undecided what to make with this. Um, I am sort of thinking either a kind of a winter dress or um, 
a, you know, a nice sweater, but there's quite a lot here, two and a half meters. So um, if you have any um, suggestions, I'm just like, I'm just not sure if it'll be too much for a dress, um, like full on, like a full on dress. But at the same time, I, I don't know, it is re it's really nice. So um, if you have any suggestions what I could make with that, um, it, just seeing if it's got, yeah, so it does actually have, it does actually have some stretch um not not lengthways but widthways so it does have a little bit of stretch in it um so uh yeah i think maybe possibly some kind of a dress would be nice with that um but i don't i don't think i have that many patterns for um kind of sweater knit or jersey type dresses um so yeah let me know if you if there's any that you know of that you have tried and you know you love or tried tried and true um because i think my generally my go-to for sort of jerseys and knits is um kind of tops i've got a few top patterns obviously the nail but i don't want to make another nail with this um i'm thinking this it will be more of a kind of either a sweatshirt or um a dress but i'm kind of airing more towards dress with this so if yeah if you can if you if you know of any good dresses that would be good for a Ponte Roma let me know um because that would be uh, that would be quite good um and then I did actually um purchase a couple of fabrics from uh Rainbow Fabrics so um if you know recently um Rainbow Fabrics had a 50% off everything sale um and a lot of fabrics sold very very quickly kind of just like that um and I didn't want to go too crazy on there. Um, there, I, I could have bought quite a lot, but basically I bought two fabrics from them. So the first one I bought, now this is quite an unusual color for me, I guess, but not unusual in that it's bright, but it's, I haven't, I haven't got a fabric in this kind of color in my stash. So um, this is, uh, what, what did they call it? Par I think this was like para parakeet green. So it is a very bright, <laughs> green i'm hoping it comes up okay the weather today is really drab so i've ha actually had to put the main light on today um so i'm hoping the color comes out okay on this it is very bright so this is a tensile twill and i've got two meters of this and i've basically i've bought this to make a shirt with it because i thought it would make a nice um kind of shirt for the autumn um my go-to shirt pattern is the olea shirt so i possibly will um look to do that but i may have a look and see if i've got any other kind of shirt patterns in my stash my pattern stash that might be worth having a go with well, with that so that was what the first fabric i bought and then the second one i picked up is this one um in this nice kind of corally red so this is called i think they called it a marbled um kind of viscose chalet it's it's kind of like tie-dye really um but the color i just love the color of this and it's actually really nice quality sorry if it if they look a little bit creased um i've just put this through the wash so um it's literally just come off the line today <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to make with that yet. I kind of feel like this might be more of a summery um, kind of fabric. Um, it's not see-through at all. It, it is opaque, but it kind of feels more summery. So I may put that one away in my stash for next summer. Um, but yeah, I didn't really want to kind of miss out on that one. So they were the two that I bought from Rainbow Fabrics. And then I was um, one of the... Um, lucky people to manage to nab um, a piece of this from Fabric Godmother. So this is the um, denim, and this is called Ace, and it's a um, it's a very standard, typical denim. I'll just bring it a little bit closer so that you can see. Um, but this, yeah, I think I know they've sold out of this at the moment, um, and I think a couple of other shops recently had this. Um, come into stock and it sold out immediately so it's been very very popular um i have bought two meters of this and my plan is actually to make a heather blazer with it 
Um, so when I was at the sewing camp, there was a lady there who'd made a heather blazer and I tried it on. It was a little bit long for me, um, which most things are, so I know I need to shorten it, but it was a really good fit. So I know kind of what size I need to make. I just need to kind of make the adjustments to shorten it a bit. But yeah, I'd really love to make a heather blazer with that. And then the last fabric I've got to share with you is this one. So uh, you may have seen this already. So this is a um, cotton poplin and it is from Bornella Fabrics. And this one is called Super Bloom. Now I, you may recognize it um, because I have made a, um, what top did I make? I think it was the Anth yeah it was the Anna Allen Anthea blouse I made in the sort of blue and green colorway and that was for my collaboration with Sam from So Let's Sparkle with Sam but I do also love this kind of colorway and um, with these kind of like retro bright colors in um, and Bornella had a sale on which was I think 20% off so I decided to buy a piece of this I've got two meters of this and I think this is going to also become a blouse. I'm not entirely sure which one yet. Um, I'm going to have a look in my pattern stash and see um, what blouse patterns I've got. But I think this will definitely be some kind of a blouse. So yeah, they're the fabrics that I kind of wanted to share with you this week. Um, and so some of them I have plans for, some of them I don't. So if you have any thoughts at all, on what you think I should make with any of those then please pop a comment um, in the in the comment section below and if you would like to just say hi and um, have a have a little chat and let me know what you're making um, again please feel free to pop a comment below I always love hearing from everybody I try and um, reply to all of my comments so um, yeah I love hearing from people so um, you know don't don't be shy um and even if you just want to come on and say hello and uh, was that a sewing social last weekend which i mentioned and um i did actually pick up some buttons and a pair of earrings uh from becky which i don't think i've shared actually so um i might just grab those two seconds so Becky, who um, runs the sewing social, she also has like her little sideline business is called Jazz and Wow. And when we go to the sewing social, she always um, has like a little pop up shop there. And she had these new um, sort of buttons. I'll try and um, bring it up close to show you. I don't know if that will, you can see the colours that well in this light. Um, it's main it looks mainly pink um, but I'll show you this one as well so these uh, there you go you can see some of the orange on here so they're kind of like orange and pink you can see a little bit there the color um, and these are new buttons in her sort of Etsy shop and they are called Miami Sunset and as soon as I saw them I saw her sharing them online I really like them so I picked up um, a pack of the buttons and also the earrings. I don't have them in today, but I've got a pair of the matching earrings as well. Um, and um, last week, Becky also released her advent calendar. So this year she is doing advent calendars, which is a new kind of venture for her. And so straight away, I kind of jumped on uh, last Saturday, jumped on and um, purchased one of her advent calendars which is a, I think it's, I think the one I purchased was the mixed one. So it's, it's kind of like a mixed resin calendar and it will have a mixture of buttons, earrings and um, some other kind of resin gifts in, I believe. So um, I'm really looking forward to receiving that. I think they will be ready um, to be shipped or um, delivered on uh, in sometime in November. So um They've unfortunately they've all sold out now, so um, I won't I won't bother popping a link uh, to that um, particular advent calendar um, in the comments below. But 
or in the description should I say but I will link her shop in the um, description below in case you want to go and have a look and see what other goodies she has but yeah they're really lovely um, quality buttons and um, yeah I've got a few of hers now and I really like them but I just love the colours I just love the colours of these ones so yeah I picked pick those up when I was at the sew and social last week um, so yeah I think that's pretty much all I um, had to share with you today so um, relatively short vlog today as I mentioned I'm away next week so there won't be a vlog from me next weekend um, while I'm away and then um, hopefully I will have one the following week we get actually get back on the Saturday but um, depending on what time we get back and obviously unpacking and everything um, my vlog may possibly be slightly later out than um, it would normally be um, just because you know it will all depend on kind of timings because I generally record on a Saturday and then um, upload it ready for release on Sunday so we'll see how that goes but yeah there won't be anything from me next week so I hope that's okay with you all and um, I shall catch up with you again in a couple of weeks and uh, in the meantime I hope you get some good sewing in and I shall speak to you again very soon. Thank you for watching. Oh and don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like the video that I've put out today. So thanks very much and I shall speak to you again soon. Bye!